Hello everyone, back to you in today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next week, 10 days, or today's uh, second video. As you take us to around the 9th of May, we'll be, at, we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS, which runs to around a couple of weeks. So have a look at CFSB2. We've got the charts back today. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of video for the next four weeks. That takes us well into the second half of May, of course. A five-day forecast has been released. It's going to be quite an unsettled five days coming up, especially to start off with although things will turn um, a little bit uh, drier and warmer. Uh, later on. So have a look at 5 forecast, see what's going on. We're going to have a live stream uh, this afternoon between 4 and 5 o'clock. We're going to get together, see how we're all doing as we remain well and truly stuck in lockdown due to the coronavirus. So our latest lockdown live stream will be with you from 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, that uh, video, um, the live stream is on the homepage at Gals Service of Cards. So you have a list of there, but if you want to get involved in the live chat, you will need to go to the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm saving the uh, ETM ensembles, you know, say it met up is for the live stream. Have a look at that during the live stream so it won't be included in today's video. Uh, right, let's get on with it then. And uh, we're going to start off by looking at the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. So let's go to the next Ashburton in uh, Devon today. Someone's having to have a look at Ashburn. If you'd like to have your local town or city featured within this section of video, it's very straightforward to do so. All you need to do is email us at gasoffice.gmail.com and uh, ask us to uh, have a look at your local town or city, or you can uh, ask us via our social media accounts. So we're very happy to have a look at your local town or city. Um, and that's absolutely great. So red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Ashburton. And we're starting off cold now at the moment. Temperatures have taken a bit of a tumble. Of course, yesterday was a very cold, wet day across many parts of the country. It's not quite as cold today, but even so, temperatures are a bit depressed. So they're going to stay on the lowly side there into the first couple of days of May. But early next week, always hope we can into early next week, a real push up in the temperature there, going to around 10 Celsius at 800 of HPA. That's probably enough on Monday and Tuesday to be lifting the temperature into the uh, mid-20s Celsius, I would have thought. So, uh, yes, going to turn very warm for a time uh, during the early to middle part of next week. But then the temperature slides away again, so it becomes cooler as we go into, like, the uh, second half of next week, probably. And then into the second week of May and up to the middle of that's this period just here. Quite a lot of scatter. We've got warmer on some of them just here. We've got cooler ensemble members uh, down there. So no particular signal for the second week of May yet. It looks quite unsettled uh, as well. So there's going to be showers or longer spells of rain coming up over the next couple of days. Probably going a bit drier over the weekend. Not completely dry, but over the weekend it probably does go uh, a bit drier. And then next week, as the temperature pushes up, we do have precipitation involved in that. So that lift up in temperature is likely to spark off potentially quite heavy showers, maybe... Uh, some thunder as well. So we do have to watch out for what's going on there, um, particularly around the middle part of next week, say Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, maybe to Wednesday, maybe there's a risk of some big downpours. <coughs> Excuse me, beyond that, into the second week of May, again, we just keep it quite unsettled, really. So that is an unsettled uh, chart. Bear in mind, this is uh, for Devon, so it is going to be exposed to uh, showers and weather systems coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean. But it's the idea that Although temperatures might push up next week for time anyway, uh, it is still likely to be quite unsettled pattern overall. Temperature anomalies from the 29th of April to 7th of May, overall a little bit below average. Uh, that encompasses a cold or relatively chilly condition at the moment. As we've already established next week, temperature probably does lift up, but there's not enough of next week within this anomaly. Um, yet to uh, to lift the temperature and normally up overall. So for the week from the 29th of April to 7th of May, uh, it's a bit below average. I expect that trend warmer in the next couple of days. Precipitation anomalies from the 29th of April to 7th of May, overall wetter than average, especially so for England and Wales, not as wet for Scotland. That's how the GFS is looking for Saturday. And we've got low pressure to our east and to our west on uh, Saturday. So Saturday, um, the weekend generally is going to be an improving situation, gradually becoming a little bit drier as this ridge of high pressure starts to uh, develop close to the country. As we go through to Monday, the emphasis is probably on dry weather. Low pressure then off the coast of Portugal. High pressure bridging through the UK. Winds are coming up from a 
relatively warm southerly direction, so temperatures likely to drift up through the early part of next week. This is Tuesday 5th. Um, puts the temperatures then into the mid 20s Celsius, I would have thought, down across the south and southeast of the country anyway. But low pressure still off the southwest of the UK and Ireland could be starting to threaten some heavy showers, maybe even some thunderstorms. There's the upper air temperatures for uh, Tuesday 5th of May. It's quite hot over France with just about tapping in to that very warm air. However, as we go through the middle part of next week, we find gradually low pressure becomes more and more involved in this. So uh, by the time we get through to the end of next week, which is Friday the 8th of May, we've got low pressure to ourselves. We begin to move the high pressure back up towards Greenland and Iceland again. So gradually turning more unsettled through next week and probably seeing some heavy showers, maybe even some thunderstorms starting to break out. In more extended range, moving up towards day 10, we start to pull in a much cooler northeasterly wind again. Uh, so a little bit of a cold snap showing up here as we're moving to the second week of May, pulling down a proper north to northeasterly. Uh, in front of the ice of ours, about, the wind does go a long way north. Look at that, going right way up to the Arctic Circle, pushing down across Western Europe. I'm not sure about that at all. If we go back to the ensemble graph, you can see that actually the operational GFS run today was a bit of a cold outlier down here. It's right at the coldest uh, coldly stained of the ensemble member. So I'm not sure about that. Could be that the GFS has lost the plot a little bit. Um, but uh, it's certainly a bit of a cold snap showing up there as we go into the second week of May. Uh, and then on as far as we can go today is to Friday the 15th of May. So this is middle of the month, of course. There we've got high pressure over northern parts of France. We're beginning to drag in uh, a milder west or southwesterly wind once again. Temperatures begin to recover by the middle of the month. This is for GM. Again, we're looking uh, rather showery on Saturday, but a gradually improving picture over the weekend. Beginning to turn a little bit drier and a little bit warmer as well over the weekend. Uh, not as much of a southerly influence from the GM early next week. What the GFS is showing just looks rather showery into the early part of next week and probably quite cool as well as winds are pushing around from right the northeast. But then high pressure begins to take over by the middle of next week. This is Wednesday, 6th of May. We've got a ridge beginning to appear across the country, so that's setting us down. Probably not overly warm under that ridge, at least initially, but certainly turning drier and you for in the May sunshine. Temperatures are probably lifting up. Uh, that's how we finish up with the GEM, which is Saturday the 9th of May. High pressure rain just out to west of us. So from the middle of next week, the GEM turns things dry. And although the air is not overly warm with that ridge, it probably does start to warm up. Uh, a little bit as we um, uh, as, as, as we start to s just generate more and more warmth from the May sunshine. May sunshine is very, very strong, uh, of course. And we've got the ECMWF again looking like this, so uh, rather showery on Saturday, but gradually uh, we have got an improving picture, and over the weekend into the early part of next week, slowly but surely high pressure begins to take over. So by the middle of next week, again, the ECM has a sunset of 1,030 millibar, which of high pressure, quite different to what the GFS is showing, I have to say. So there's still a lot of uncertainty about next week's weather. But uh, the ECM and the uh, GEM are certainly going in the same direction, which is high pressure takeover by the middle part of next week, turning us dry. Initially, probably not all that warm, but under the ridge with the, um, uh, with the May sunshine and, of course, with the wind with the ECM coming a little bit more from the southeast, south-southeast, that is warming things up through the second half of next week. In fact, we could be seeing temperatures there kind of lifting up into the mid-20 Celsius. We'd be too surprised if we did. Lots of dry weather as well. So high pressure backing business for both the GEM and the ECM uh, for the second half of next week. The GFS doesn't show that. Um, and it just, again, highlights the uncertainty that we've got uh, for next week's weather. Finally, just have a quick look at CFSV2. Couldn't look at those yesterday, of course, but they have updated uh, these charts uh, today. So the uh, 500 bit of our high company flow charts for uh, this coming week, which is the 29th of April to 5th of May, uh, looks like that. Quite unsettled, really. Low pressure through much of northern and western Europe. Winds are in from the west as well. So a relatively uh, unsettled week to come with showers or longer spells of rain. Probably quite cool conditions also. Week two is the 6th through to the 12th of May. Uh, messy old pattern, this one. So we've got above average heights out to our west. And also to our south, top of low pressure through here. I think that's trying to turn us drier. I think that's trying to turn us drier um, and sell us down a bit. But how successful that will be, I'm not sure. Because those two ridges, the one to the south, one to the 
Northwest is quite a long way from us, and there could well be a trough so extending through here. So that's a little bit mixed, that one, the 6th to the 12th of May. Probably not as unsettled as week one, but not entirely settled, I wouldn't have thought. And then by week three, we're actually back to unsettled conditions again. This is the 13th to the 19th of May. Low pressure back in business with winds back in from the west. So again, that's going to be really quite unsettled. Probably quite cool as well. Week four is the 20th to the 26th of May. This time we have high pressure over Scandinavia and to our southwest from the Azores. Low pressure to the south of Greenland. Looks flat, rather flat and westerly. Uh, rather flat and westerly, um, but the high pressure of Scandinavia will be trying to deliver us some warmer easterly winds. It's a bit of a mixed picture, really, and that's been the case with this May so far all the way along. A very mixed pattern, um, rather a lot of variation from week to week, no particular... Uh, pattern having an ascendancy for the month overall. So one week it's low pressure, the next week it's a little bit more towards high pressure, and then the next week it's back to low pressure. That's been the tendency with these charts that we've seen uh, throughout um, the past few uh, updates, actually. So it doesn't look like we're in for a relatively mixed May, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be an entirely unsettled month. And as we're already seeing, both the GM and the ECM want to start returning us back to high pressure. Um, through the middle and second half of next week, which will deliver us back to warmer, drier conditions again. But GFS and its ensembles does not seem convinced about that. So uncertainty really is the buzzword, I think, as we're moving uh, through next week and towards the second week of May. Which way is this going to go? If we do get some high pressure, I've got a feeling it probably won't be continuous high pressure, such as we've had in um, April. I've got a feeling any high pressure will probably be nibbled away at quite quickly and just a rather change will make could well be coming up that's only my suspicion uh and of course we are watching out for potentially quite a warm spell of weather through the early part of uh, next week but even that isn't completely not completely even that is not complete agreement about between the gfs the gm and the ecm so it all remains to be revealed and uh we'll have more of course in the coming days Right, rather short and week to 10 day uh, uh, today. That's we've got the live stream coming up uh, later on. So, uh, yes, 4 o'clock, we're going to get together and to see how we're all doing as we remain in lockdown because of this awful virus. Uh, so, yes, um, come back at 4 and uh, we'll have a bit of a chat. I'll show you the ECM ensembles um, from the Icelandic Met Office in, uh, in the live stream as well. Uh, right then, that's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.